I've officially arrived in Bangkok. I got here about midnight last night. Uh, local time, it was Friday. Uh, it's now Saturday morning. Uh, it was a really great trip. Altogether, it took about 24 hours door to door, a train, short bus ride, two airplanes, and a car ride, and I'm here. Uh, like I said, it was really great. It was really easy. No problems at any customs offices or any securities, anything like that. Uh, the custom officer in Thailand and I, we actually had the same birthday, so we bonded and laughed over that for a second while I got in last night. Um, it's hot. It's not much hotter than Southern California, but the humidity is kind of where it's at, and it's fun, though. It kind of makes the experience, and where I live currently in Humboldt County, California, it, it's really cold even in the middle of summertime, so I'm totally fine and happy with a little bit of heat. Today is supposed to be my introduction with the general. Uh, I'll meet him in an hour or two here, go over to the Thai Cultural Center, and start training. Um, training is probably obviously one of my favorite things to do, and anytime I'm in a new situation or like when I moved to Humboldt County, the first thing I did when I got there is I started training. And so it grounds me, it centers me, and they weren't sure if I was going to want to train on my first day here a few hours after landing. And I was like, please, let's go train. Um, so I'm really excited for that. We'll video record the whole thing and see how I do, see see what the general thinks about everything that I know and everything that I've done. Try to empty my cup and just take his advice, take his instruction, try to be coachable. I'm really excited. I don't know what to expect. I don't really have any expectations. Um, just trying to empty my cup. Sometimes I think the hardest thing to do when you're training is to have had previous training because I have a whole slew and uh, more than a decade of habits and things that I want to do and things that my training ha tells me that I should do in a situation. And uh, that's not while I'm here. I'm here to learn something new. I'm here to learn uh, how the general teaches and how he trains, what he wants things to be like. So want to go in, no expectations, just do my thing. Uh, I try to be coachable all the time, whatever advice I can get and uh, suggestions he's going to give me. You can always get better. You can always improve. And as long as I've been doing martial arts, it's still... You know, a thumbnail compare, compared to the people who teach me, compared to my instructors in the States, compared to anybody here. You know, my 13 years, 14 years is nothing compared to what's going on uh, in the rest of the world. So there's always room. I'm eager for that. I'm eager to hear what, what the, to see what the system looks like. Um, otherwise, I'm mostly kind of in shock and awe that I'm even here and that I made it and that this is this is what I'm doing. Last things I've ever thought I'd do in my life would be traveling around training martial arts. So I'm very excited, I'm very thankful. Um, you know, of course, thank you to Kevin and Sylvie for bringing me out here. And just like to give a little shout out to all the people at my home gyms, Humble Jiu Jitsu in Arcata, California and Dave Hopkins Association in Riverside. Uh, I've gotten a lot of support, of course, from those two schools and uh, everybody who who follow Kevin and Sylvie and who post with them and talk with them. Uh, everybody at Eight Limbs has just been super supportive and it's been really great to see and really great to read. A lot of encouragement. I'm super happy. So we'll leave here shortly, get our first training session in with the general. Of course, we're going to have that whole thing recorded and uh, let me know what everybody thinks. Thank you so much and uh, we'll talk to you soon.